Good morning, I'm Karina Nova, live in the ABC7 newsroom, and we are breaking in right now to bring you new video just into our newsroom. This is video footage and audio from Paul Pelosi's violent attack at his home. If you remember, this happened back in October, uh, and we are just getting that video. We're looking through it, and we wanted to show you some of the clips we're seeing. Uh, so right now, I'm going to play you the first video that we're seeing from police, and uh, this is yeah, coming in right here. So this is going to be it uh, right there. Uh, this is the video, and you'll see DePap, David DePap, uh, who prosecutors say broke into the Pelosi San Francisco home again in late October. And you see the suspect right there walking around the home, kind of casing it out. And this is a fairly long video. Uh, we see him doing this for quite a while, peeking into the windows. You're watching all of that happen right there. Uh, and so this is some of the video that we've been watching here in our newsroom and we wanted to show you uh, live on our stream. So once again, as many of you know, uh, that this happened in the early morning hours of October 28th. And uh, that's when we found, uh, found out that Paul Pelosi ended up calling 911. And I'm gonna show you that video here in just a second. It's body camera footage uh, from police arriving to the home after that 911 call. Uh, but what we know is that DePap broke into the Pelosi San Francisco home and struck Paul Pelosi on the head with a hammer um, he was demanding to know the whereabouts of Paul Pelosi's wife, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, uh, but she was in Washington, D.C. at the time. Uh, so once again, this is video of just outside of the home of the Pelosi residence in San Francisco. But let me play you this uh, body camera footage with sound uh, from police. You'll be able to hear the moments leading up to them arriving at the home and uh, finding both DePap and Pelosi standing there, but we are gonna freeze it uh, for you before the moment that he actually strikes Paul Pelosi in the head with that hammer. So take a look. Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello. Said 2620, right? No, 2640. Oh, 40. Yeah, it literally said in there. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. How Drop the doing? hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Sorry, going on right now? I'm not getting an answer. Okay, and that is the moment that we decided to freeze this video. Uh, so what you saw there is what police saw when they arrived, open that door, uh, and that is David DePap and Paul Pelosi standing there, and you see DePap holding a hammer there uh, and proceeding to strike Pelosi in the head uh, with that hammer. And what we do know is that Paul Pelosi ended up getting a skull fracture, ending up in the hospital after this attack. Uh, but you can hear the police as they're walking up. They're confirming the address, uh, just making sure they're in the right place. And then once they open the door, you can hear them say, drop the hammer. I'm going to play this for you one more time so you can uh, take a look. Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello? Said 2620, right? No, 2640. Oh, 40. Yeah, it literally said in there. Hi, hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Sorry, going on right now? I'm not getting an answer. 
just incredible seeing that moment that you see DePap attack Paul Pelosi with the hammer and also looking at that video I'm sure you noticed like I did both of them kind of standing there smiling almost to pap for sure um, as police arrive uh, but as we know that Paul Pelosi the 82 year old uh, underwent surgery for a skull fracture after this attack um, and injuries to his head and arm um, and we do know that Paul Pelosi you know was released from the hospital uh, after a few days and is recovering still recovering from that attack um, de pap he entered a non guilty not guilty plea um, he said he was there to target congresswoman speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, because saying she was second in line for the presidency and she embodied evil in Washington uh, he said that he had plans also to attack other people but in terms of Pelosi his plan was to break her kneecaps. This is according to prosecutors. Um, and as we've been following this case, learning a lot more about this uh, case and DePap's plans. Um, those include going after California Governor Gavin Newsom, Hunter Biden, uh, and others. So uh, once again, I'm gonna replay this video for you one more time so you can take a look um, and see what is happening. Um, and then I'll show you the video of DePap outside the home prior to him entering, breaking in, uh, and police arriving. Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello. Said 2620, right? No, 2640. Oh, yeah, it literally said that. Hi, how you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Sorry, going on? Right I'm not getting an answer. Once again, you are looking at some of the video that we have obtained from police. Um, we've obtained this video uh, from police of the day Paul Pelosi was attacked and when police arrived uh, after that 911 call uh, when Paul Pelosi called saying that uh, there was an intruder in the home and uh, as we now know that was uh, David DePap. So you hear police there saying drop the hammer and DePap responding nope and that's when you see DePap attacking Pelosi with that hammer that he has in his hand, that's the freeze frame that we stopped there, so you did not see that attack. Um, and then officers at that point, we saw the, the video further, uh, rush into the home, they subdue DePap, and they handcuff him. Uh, we also have uh, some of the 911 call Paul Pelosi made. We have our reporter, Stephanie Sierra, uh, going through all of that um, and there's other surveillance video and let me show you that video right now um, this is DePap outside the home and you'll see him walk up closer to the camera here you can see him kind of just staking it out peeking into the window uh, very casually um, and he's doing this for quite a while this is a very long video um, we have uh, a lot of other videos uh, similar like this, but uh, we wanted to show you this one so you can kind of see exactly what's going on. Um, now, lawyers for DePap, they argued against this video being released. Uh, they're saying that it would be damage um, and hit to his right to a fair trial. Um, and as we know, DePap pleaded not guilty uh, to state and federal crimes related to this attack um, but here in this video again you can see DePap there walking around the home and that is some of the video uh, that we have been looking at a, a lot of uh, video and sound that we're getting into our newsroom that we are going through at this point 
So what we know is that Paul Pelosi placed a 911 call uh, after convincing DePap to let him go to the bathroom where his phone was charging, and that's how he was able to call police. And then once again, this video here showing when police arrive. Yeah, definitely don't want all of here. I definitely don't want all of here. Hello. Twenty six twenty, right? No, twenty six forty. Oh, yeah, it literally said that. Hi, guys. how you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, no. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on? Right Okay, and you can see Paul Pelosi trying to get away from DePap, who's holding the hammer there, and that's the point where uh, DePap attacks Pelosi and... Uh and uh, that's the moment that police show us uh, the video um, of, of that moment of the attack. Uh, so what we know is that uh, Paul Pelosi, he went in under, into surgery to repair a skull fracture after this incident, um, serious injuries to his right arm and hands. And, um, and what we're seeing is that, uh, that moment that that happened. Uh, we are getting more information on this. We have a reporter, uh, Stephanie Sierra, as I mentioned, covering it. Um, but a lot of information coming in as we're looking at this video. Uh, we are uh, learning m much more uh, and getting a much closer look than we had before. And of course, uh, as of yesterday, uh, Nancy Pelosi said that she has not seen the video yet um, and she does not know if she will. Uh, it is, I can tell you, very dramatic and emotional to watch uh, this attack as you just saw just the bits and pieces of it leading up to the point where Paul Pelosi is hit with a hammer um, but we obviously stopped it there and uh, froze it. We're going to continue to uh, follow this for you as I mentioned there is much more that we got from police um, including the 911 call uh, from Pelosi's home that day uh, a recording of DePap's interview with police and we have our reporters covering this and bringing you the very latest, breaking it all down for you. Uh, so we will have that for you on ABC7 Midday. You can tune in in just 30 minutes uh, and you can learn much more. But we wanted to get this to you as quickly as possible and bring you uh, as much as we know at this point from seeing this video and the sound that we released uh, was released from police. Uh, we're gonna wrap things up here for now, but once again, you can get the very latest on abc7news.com and we will have much more for you on this, a better breakdown of everything that we've been able to obtain from police here in just about 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna take you back to regular programming right now, uh, but we will see you back here at 11.